proposed ART network for Metro Manila. Population density of Metro Manila. This is a list of the 25 most densely populated cities in the world. Six cities are located in the Philippines. These six cities are Manila, Pateros, Mandaluyong, Caloocan, Makati, and Malabon. This makes Metro Manila the most densely populated metropolitan area in the world. Metro Manila is composed of 16 cities and one municipality. It is served by three mass transportation LRT lines. The connecting modes of transport are served by buses with 10,000 units, jeepneys with 55,000 units, tricycles with 270,000 units, and UV Express with 6,000 units. In this chapter video, we will focus on the core of Metro Manila, four of the top 25 most densely populated cities in the world are in this core. These are Manila, Pateros, Mandaluyong, and Makati. It is host to 9 out of the top 11 business districts in Metro Manila. Only the Cubao Araneta and the Arca South business districts are not within this rectangular area. This is the satellite view of the map shown previously. Shown are the 5 major business districts and 4 minor business districts. This core includes municipalities of Rizal Province located east of Pasig City. The land area of this rectangle is 200 square kilometers. It has a population of about 8 million. This is a density of about 40,000 persons per square kilometer. Being the core, it is denser than the population density of Metro Manila as a whole. This core is probably the most densely populated area in the world, yet it is being traversed by only three above-ground LRT lines. In comparison, these are the mass transportation networks of the capital cities of our ASEAN neighbors. Metro Manila is much more densely populated than the cities of Bangkok, Hanoi, Kuala Lumpur, and Jakarta. Yet, Manila has only three lines. Three lines are under construction in Manila. The construction of the Makati subway has been suspended. It is hard to catch up because our ASEAN neighbors are expanding too. ART provides the best chance of catching up with our neighbors. It is inexpensive and quick to install. Core of Metro Manila the core of Metro Manila is currently served by three LRT lines. The area bounded by the three LRT lines is a triangular area shaded in pink. It is part of the core of Metro Manila with a population of about 3 million. It is probably the most densely populated area in the world, yet it is not being served by a mass transportation system. A mass transportation system is badly needed in this area. It is instead being served by bus, jeepney, tricycles, and UV Express. UV Express is a variant of a jeepney service. To help determine the appropriate type of mass transportation in this area, we will first look at the current mode of public transport that is being deployed in this triangular area. We will look at photos of public transport traversing the streets in this area. We will categorize the photos into three types, namely primary roads, secondary roads, and tertiary roads. Primary roads. The first level in the road hierarchy are the primary roads. Shown inside the triangle are 12 primary roads that directly or indirectly connect to the three LRTs. It is estimated that of the total number of vehicles that travel along these roads, 80% are jeepneys and 20% are buses. These are the first six of the 12 primary roads located in the upper half of the pink triangle. 
The following are the 12 corresponding full-page photos to get a clearer view of the connecting mode of transport to the three LRTs. The buses are marked by a green triangular icon, while the jeepneys are marked by a yellow triangular icon. This photo is at the Ayala Castles intersection. UN Avenue Quirino Avenue Ortigas Avenue Shaw Boulevard Bonnie Avenue These are the next six of the 12 primary roads located in the lower half of the pink triangle. South Expressway Puyat Avenue Paseo de Rojas Rizal Street Makati Avenue Ayala Avenue Secondary Roads The second level in the road hierarchy are the secondary roads. Shown inside the triangle are the 12 secondary roads that directly or indirectly connect to the three LRTs. It is estimated that of the total number of vehicles that travel along these roads, 70% are jeepneys and 30% are tricycles. These are the first six of the 12 secondary roads located in the upper half of the pink triangle. Hill Panaderos Quirino Onyx Blumentritt Cruz Fabella Mesa Domingo Pinaglaban Serrano Martinez Guevara these are the next six of the secondary roads served by public transport. Rojas del Pan Ocampo Arnaiz Barranca Fabelia Guevara Calayaan Rosses Tertiary Roads The third and last level in the road hierarchy are the tertiary roads. Shown inside the triangle are the 12 tertiary roads that directly or indirectly connect to the three LRTs. These roads are being served solely by tricycles. These are the first six of the 12 tertiary roads located in the upper half of the pink triangle. The photos of more crowded tertiary roads were intentionally chosen to emphasize the mobility problems along these roads. These are the areas where nearby ART stations can help solve its mobility problems. Elizonto Arlegi Damka Gumamela Posadas Luna Gonzaga Sinag Jose Addition Hills These are the next six of the 12 tertiary roads served by public transport. Bayan Sarmiento Tramo Gutierrez Zamora Mapagkalinga Cardona Hormiga Escuela Gabaldon Vergel Reyes the buses, jeepneys, and tricycles serving this dense triangular area with a population of 3 million is not enough. 
subway, and LRT have been proposed in this area by the government, JICA, and private investors. For medium-capacity BRT, there is no viable alignment. What is left are high-capacity transport options such as subway and LRT. The problem is, these high-capacity options do not seem to match with the medium passenger demand in the triangular area. Successful matching of high-capacity transport and high-passenger demand is LRT1 and MRT3. Unsuccessful matching of high-capacity transport with medium passenger demand is LRT2. Its daily ridership is only 200,000 compared to its capacity of 570,000 daily passengers even after 21 years of operation. LRT lines can be placed in the triangular area, but it will not be profitable. It will need bigger subsidies from the government to be able to operate and serve the commuting public. What is viable is a medium-capacity transport system, an ART system. An ART network for the core of Metro Manila was proposed by Doppelmayr in July 2016. It was supported by a study that was presented to DOTR Secretary Arthur Tugade in July 2016. Unfortunately, the proposal was not covered in the traditional or social media. Information about the proposal of Manila would not spread to be appreciated by the general public and potential investors. This is the more detailed illustration of the proposed ART network. The ART will directly connect to the PNR South Line at Paco Station. It will directly connect the PNR Central Station at Tutuban. It will directly connect two LRT2 stations. It will connect to one LRT1 station. It will connect to two MRT3 stations. It will connect MOA to the airport passing through the LRT1 and MRT3 interchange. It will connect five ferry stations of the MMDA ferry system along Pasig River. The various direct and indirect ART connections to various modes of mass transport will increase the daily ridership of LRT2 from 200,000 to its near forecasted capacity of 570,000. These connections will be discussed in more detail in other chapter videos.